hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create a sticky notice or anything that you want to stick on your website so for instance let's say we have a website like this and then as we scroll down there is a notice over here okay but this notice is a very sticky one meaning that um, at the moment we bypass that notice it's going to be sticky throughout um, the page as we scroll so as we are scrolling you see that it becomes sticky at the top over here and this is the kind of notice that we are going to create on this particular tutorial now this thing can be used to stick anything that you want to stick whether a sidebar or anything okay using elementor and then um, another plugin that we are going to what we're going to use so if you are interested in this video please stick around and let's jump into the video okay guys so this is the website that we're going to add the sticky notice to it so as you can see there is nothing over here okay so what we are going to do is we're going to add a sticky notice uh, below the hero section over here so the sticky notice is going to be around this place okay around this place and then when when the user scrolls it's going to stick to the top over here okay we just want them to notice it so that when they scroll they will see it and that is all what we are going to do so now to be able to perform that now we head over to our dashboard and then install some few plugins and then we start from there okay guys so first things first so this is our dashboard now what we will have to do is um to go to over to plugins over here now hover on plugins and then click on add new now we're going to install now of course make sure that you have elementor installed okay and then we're going to install um, another plugin also which will help us to be able to what um stick whatever that we want to what want to stick now guys we're going to search for anywhere elementor now this is the plugin that we are looking for okay as you can see over here this plugin is what we are looking for now make sure that you click on install and then activate it okay of course i've already installed and activated it i just want to show you how you'll be able to get it so on the plugins directory over here search for anywhere elementor and then click on install and then activate it and then we, you are ready to go so now that you have this plugin installed and activated now we can go ahead and then um you know um search for exclusive add-ons for elementor so exclusive add-ons for elementor is also the second plugin that we are going to what um we're going to install so as you can see this one over here is what exclusive add-ons for elementor okay now what anywhere elementor does is it helps you to be able to create templates and then use a shortcode to be able to what um you know place it anywhere that you want and then exclusive add-ons add some few add-ons or a lot of add-ons um on elementor this plugin really is what we are going to use for us to be able to stick um you know whatever that we want to stick on our what on our website so now that you have this well this one installed and activated now we are ready to go okay so now that we have installed and activated it now go to your page that you want to what you want to add um you know the uh, the sticky bar or whatever thing that you want to stick to so for instance this is what this is my page i've already opened it in what in elementor now i want to add this um you know sticky bar over here okay so this is where i want to add it so what i'm going to do is i'm, I'm going to click on this plus icon um over here and then i'm going to set um select three column what um you know structure over here so i'm going to select this three column structure now over here um i'm going to what just you know come over here and then select the minimum and the height over here i'm going to make it what minimum height and then i'm going to make it um 80 okay i think 80 is quite okay and then i will select um click on edit session again and i'll go to style over here and then make um you know the color or the background color as the color that i would i want it to be so um the background color i'm going to make it um you know pink or whatever it is that i want it to be so let's say i want it to be um kind of like this color okay 
so i think um it's quite okay so let me just drag it a little bit over here and see if it fits here so um something like what something like this so I'm, i want to make it something like this and then um i just want to type in whatever thing i want to type in over here. so i'm going to what, copy this text over here from this place so copy and then come over here and then paste it over here right click and paste now over here also i want to what um just right click and then paste the same thing and then i'm going to edit what the text from here so um what i want to do is um i just want to paste the same text over here but this time around i'm just going to what click on this text and then instead of 25 percent on all product i'm going to say um use the promo code okay so use um promo code summer 2023 okay this is exactly what i want now i'm going to what um you know push this one a little bit over here so and then also push this one a little bit over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a button over here now before i add a button um i'll click on this edit column over here and then go to style okay go to style and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to change the background of that particular word column so i'm going to go over here and then um instead of you know the the background which is the uh, pink color i'm going to what change it to white okay and then um with this one the text over here i'm going to change the text color to um you know the background this background pink color that we have over here so i'm going to copy the the te um, the color code of that particular background i'm going to click over here and copy the text um, the color code come over here click on this um text and then go to style and then change the color of this um the text to the color code that we copied so as you can see we have this particular one over here now um i i want to what reduce the what um you know the the spaces in the um in the margin okay so um the top margin and the bottom margin i want to reduce the spaces over there so i'm going to go to advance over here and then instead of 10 20 i'm just going to what make it um zero for all okay so i'm going to unlink the pattern and i make it zero for all okay so this is what's quite okay or you can still make it to a 10 for all okay depending on what you want to what you want to do so i think maybe 10 is okay and then over here also i'm still going to what go over here and then um you know also make it zero instead of 10 i'm going to make it to a zero for all okay so that is going to be something like this yeah very good so now that i have this one also done now i'm going to add a button over here so i'm going to click on this um particular button over here um this plus icon over here i'm going to drag in a button from this place to this place to this place okay so now um with a button i'm going to what name um give it shop now shop now and then i can link it to you know all the the product page that i want to work. i want to link it any page that you want so that when people click on it they will go to over there so just put the link over here i'm not going to do that you can do it yourself now i'm going to click on icon to select an icon for it so i'm going to um you know click on search for shop i'm going to search for shop and then i'm going to just you know take any particular um shopping basket or anything that i want so i like this one i'm going to click insert now as you can see this is how it looks like i'm going to align it in in the center okay i'm going to align it in the center and then um with a star i'll go to style over here and then make sure that i choose a style that i want okay so for instance um with a typography um let's say the text color over here i'm going to change it to black okay so i'm going to make it black or black and then with a bug um the the color that is the background color i'm going to make it white okay and then when i when i come to the typography 
I can I can increase the size to 20 okay so it's gonna be something um, like this okay which is what quite okay so now as you can see guys everything works with perfectly well now that I have my you know uh, my my sticky bar done I can go ahead and then make it to a sticky okay now how do I make it sticky I click on this edit session over here and then go to advanced over here and then I'll scroll and then see exclusive sticky okay because of what um, exclusive you know add-ons that we added the exclusive add-on that we added it gives us to the exclusive sticky over here click on it and then click on what enable to what to enable the exclusive sticky now after enabling it you can go ahead and then um, you know update it okay go ahead and update it now that it is updated go to your page and then you know just um, just just you know refresh your page to see if the sticky is what um, the, the, the bar is what is loaded on your page okay so um, mostly if you want to view it over here or if you want it to work over here now if you scroll it wouldn't what it wouldn't work okay you wouldn't see the sticky working so maybe you might think it's not working don't worry it doesn't work on um, in the editor page so as you can see over here does not work in the editor page it only works in the raw website okay so um let's see if it is what it is loading so as you can see it has what it has finished loading now if we scroll our, our thing becomes so sticky okay but there is a problem guys there is a problem now, as you can see it is hidden under what under um the other template or the other what the other um blocks okay so now what we have to do is we have to solve that with that particular problem now how do you solve it it is also very simple now go to what go to your edit um you know session over here and then click on advance okay click on advance over here just click on advance now when advance open you see the z index over here okay now make sure that you give it a higher index which is above all the other elements on the what on the page so let's say i'm going to give it 100 okay 100 z index because i know that no other page is what is no other element is above what 100 okay so now that i've given it what um, a z index of 100 i can come over here and then still refresh the page okay so i'm going to what refresh the page and see if everything what works perfectly well for me okay guys so now let's scroll and see if everything is what is working with perfectly well so guys as you can see everything is what is working perfectly well and that is how you can be able to create a sticky um, notice bar or a sticky promo whatever bar or whatever thing that you want to you can use it as what as your second menu or as your second anything that you want to what you want to make it stick okay so let's say you have a first menu over here and then you place your second menu over here okay so that once people get over here and they are scrolling this menu what will be stick to the to the top okay so this is how you can be able to create a sticky bar for your website to promote your what um you know your product or anything that you want to promote for people to interact with your website thank you for watching this video um see you in the next video please if you like this video don't forget to like and comment on there and give a comment in the in the in the comment section okay also subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed thank you for watching bye bye